afternoon, it's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 19th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where we uh, stand at present in terms of European markets. Currently, we have the uh, European session up 40 points on the FTSE. Uh, an impressive rally at that, especially given the uh, political and social chaos in the UK at present. Uh, we also have another terrorist incident uh, overnight uh, at a potential uh, mosque in Finsbury Park. And uh, it certainly seems like the uh, the actual uh, terrorist has been apprehended and uh, certainly does uh, obviously uh, create uh, social chaos again. Uh, community relations certainly being tested here. So let's hope and let's just pray for the best. In terms of Greenfell, the uh, the actual um, uh, potential uh, deaths have, have increased to 80 and, and there are numbers now that may well even increase even further. So uh, again, concerns there and also with regards to the actual uh, reaction and the approach taken by the government, a lot of criticism there. Okay, now, talk also over the weekend with regards to Theresa May, uh, potential no confidence vote and uh, talk about she has potentially 10 days now uh, to actually uh, revive her... Uh, leadership role and otherwise she certainly will go so uh, again political uncertainty is certainly high in the UK and therefore it's, it's considered to be risk negative we also have news now with regards to a potential new replacement for the BOE uh, member we have Mr Silvana Ten Reiro. so again that will be interesting as to the implications going forward in terms of monetary policy and the reaction on the FTSE 102 in terms of uh, your, the rest of the European uh, equity markets, we have the Dem German DAX up uh, very impressively, 104 points, the French CAC up 47, FTSE May buyback stocks all up, and that's mainly led by Mr Macron's overwhelming win uh, in the potential election. So again, that certainly has triggered a rally in European equities. Even though we have the Euro USD uh, lingering at 1.12, which technically is risk negative, we have the uh, uh, GBP USD lingering at 1.28, which again is risk negative. As equity, obviously FX markets certainly hurt the uh, the ability for exports going forward. In terms of other economic data, again, like I said, terrorist incident. We have Greenfell incident. Uh, we have the UK uh, potential Brexit talks as well starting today, and the uncertainty going forward there. We had uh, Japanese imports actually stronger overnight, so again, that did certainly help European equities. Although the export side of the equation certainly was weaker, and therefore weakness persists. Chinese house prices coming in weaker as well, so again, cause for concern. We've had the European construction data this morning coming in more or less in line. Uh, nothing really of any major importance in terms of economic data or real market moving. Uh, technically, we have uh, Mr. Williams, sorry, Mr. Williams and Mr. Dudley speaking. Uh, we have Mr. Evans, sorry, we have Mr. Dudley in 14 minutes and Mr. Evans later on. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say as well. We also have Mr. Uh, Weedman speaking as well at 4 p.m. So keep an eye on that in terms of market reaction. So thus far, uh, Asian equities certainly rising overnight as well. Uh, we have the Nikkei up uh, 224 points and the Shanghai up 21. So again, certainly helping risk sentiment to a large extent. European equities really the uh, the most impressive. Let's just look at the actual technical picture now. Let's see exactly where we stand. The German DAX at present. I had a HNS formation which has been negated. Okay, so German DAX back into that key resistance zone. Certainly a rising contracting type wedge pattern certainly isn't a healthy sign from my perspective. We had this potential HNS forming uh, and brewing, but that has been negated now given the fact that we've obviously exceeded the Fib 75%, which is pretty impressive. So again, quite an impressive thrust higher on the. Um, on the German DAX, I mean, we finish around the 12,750 and then we open up 140 points higher on the back of Mr. Macron, expelling the uh, fears from the uh, the actual radical right. So again, extremist policies certainly negated. Now, we do have horizontal resistance in the German DAX. We have two multiple, uh, uh, more well, two, uh, more than two, but we have multiple unfilled gaps below, certainly looking for those gaps to close. Okay, 10-minute chart, German DAX in the moment. Again, from my perspective, 10-minute chart, certainly overextended. You can see here the RSI. Uh, you can even see the stochastics. Uh, you can see that we above pivot R3 as well. Uh, okay, so certainly from almost every metric, from my perspective, it certainly remains extremely, extremely overbought, and it certainly needs to be corrected with a potential pullback into gap fill. So watch out for those two gaps below, looking for those gaps to uh, potentially fill. If we come back and fall, 
then you are looking at support around the 12760 zone so certainly you're overextended here on uh, on the european equities in terms of the cac let's bring up the french cac here okay french cac certainly overextended as well from my perspective it certainly needs to pull back uh, if you look at the daily chart as well we're into a horizontal or diagonal trend line resistance in terms of the FTSE 100 it certainly has already given back its potential uh, uh, gains uh, certainly looking for it to retrace lower now FTSE 100 looking for the gap to close at 7463 so keep an eye on the FTSE below looking for that gap to close certainly an impressive thrust tire on the FTSE but from my perspective it certainly will be short-lived and uh, looking for it to reverse so uh, respecting the key diagonal trend line thus far looking for a retracement going or going to the daily chart you clearly have a HNS forming uh, brewing your neckline is now adjusted now to 7385 and you're looking for 7080 on the downside on the FTSE 100. In terms of the euro stocks, let's bring up the euro stocks where we stand now. Diagonal trend line resistance, looking for risk aversion and looking for the European equities certainly to fall and looking for that gap fill to close below. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European equities. Uh, certainly in the bearish camp here and looking for a move lower. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit TradeSingler for the latest market analysis and updates. Goodbye now.